All right. So took a little break, and um, now we're going to get back to this and make sure that you guys know how to set this campaign up. Uh, hopefully we can get it done in 10 minutes because that seems to be the time frame that I have. And uh, I'm eating a corn dog. So the uh, brand CPM, East Valley Kia. All right. We named it, got the locations. Um, now enter a location. The advanced search, um, I think we covered some of the advanced search previously, but um, I'm just going to do it again. Um, you want to click on radius targeting, and what I said previously, which I don't know if I posted it yet or not, because um, I'm trying to get these done pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to run through these. Use the radius targeting. It's the best route for you. Um, it's more consistent, and uh, I believe I talked about um, ISP providers and their location um, and how important it is when uh, having your bidding in certain zip codes or city locations that have the specific defining lines of the cities uh, on the map. Um, radius targeting is more consistent because it just specifically works out for the people that are located in the area, whereas the uh, zip codes and the um, zip codes and the city limits, uh, if an ISP provider is actually within those limits and you're targeting um, to those limits specifically, uh, that ISP might have customers outside of that location that they can show to. So just, you know, for this scenario, use the radius targeting set to about a five mile radius this is uh again for um car sales um this is a car dealership and um basically we just need a five mile radius um if somebody's interested in something and we're um you know they're playing a little bubble game or something like that and they're in the area and they've been looking for a vehicle uh for the last several days then we can show an advertisement to them. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that uh, for hopefully the cheapest cost that you can can kind of get on there. Uh, so I'm going to type in Horn Kia. Um, Horn Kia. And then we're going to select Horn Kia from this. It populates down here in this list. You can also go over here and edit uh, or add more locations up there. Uh, it'll draw this little circle around here and then uh, the Kia uh, Horn Kia East Motorplex loop should be smack dab in the middle right there um, and then it just draws the five mile radius around it uh, if they're outside the area they shouldn't be able to get it uh, and that does have to do with some of the targeting methods um, and setting this inside the campaign but we'll cover those as we move over uh, so save that got the five uh, English, bidding options, viewable, cost per thousand impression, uh, viewable CPM, and uh, what you're going to want to do is set the budget to whatever budget you want it to be at. Uh, now, I'm only going to set this $1 because we already have a campaign that's running right now. It's doing pretty good. I just want to get you guys up to speed on what you can do. Uh, delivery method right here, I like to keep the standard first and then move to accelerated later. Um, reason why is because, well, um, I want the advertisement to be placed up at the beginning of my um, scheduled times that it's supposed to run. So it places it up, takes it back down, places it back up periodically throughout the day to accommodate the spending limits. Now, um, accelerated delivery method actually takes that amount, and uh, if you're only open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., then um, what it's going to do is start off from the very beginning at 8.01 or 8 o'clock or whatever it is, and it's going to continuously utilize your budget uh, up until you have no more for the day. And um, that gives you the most consistent um, measurement of traffic within your area that you're targeting, but it's... Um, it's a pretty big push in the market, so it's uh, pretty aggressive. And um, honestly, right now, I don't want to be aggressive. I just want to spend a little bit of money and, um, you know, uh, show a few 
hundred thousand times for five, six, ten bucks, whatever it is, right? Um, anyway, set it to standard ad group name. You're going to want to create your ad groups based off of uh, the targeting methods that you decided in the beginning, uh, which was the uh, brand recognition, CPM, East Valley Kia. What they're going to be looking for is, uh, we could just set this to Kia Motors. Um, affinity audiences are uh, audiences in which uh, have an affinity for a certain subject. And that subject could be uh, sports or cars or video games or whatever it is. Okay, um, that's something that I don't want to target today. Um, remarketing lists and similar audiences will go through later. Uh, what they are actively researching or planning and the in-market audience and custom intent is what we're going to um, concentrate on. And that's the easiest because of what you see here. So uh, in market audiences, you just want to click here. Uh, don't go to the new custom intent audience down here. That's really for a very specific type of um, uh, consumer. That is for your crazy cat ladies with the paintings that they like to do of people's pets. And like only if, um, you know, you can't find a market uh, in these in market audiences, then you want to create one of these things to ask you a bunch of questions. I'll go into those a little bit later if anybody really wants to um, uh, go through those, or if they um, you feel like any of these items don't uh, match up with their market. Uh, auto and vehicle. Uh, if you were to select this, it takes everything in autos and vehicles, and it adds it into the uh, in-market audiences. But if you were to select this little tiny drop-down arrow, uh, you see the auto parts and accessories, auto repair maintenance, motor vehicles, vehicles, other. These also have drop-down menus as well. So if you incorporate this, autos and vehicles, it incorporates all these other things at the bottom. Uh, so I don't want that one. So we're gonna close that because I don't do auto parts and accessories. I'm just trying to sell the vehicles. Uh, auto parts and maintenance, I'm not going to check those. Motor vehicles is where it's at. Uh, right now, I want to concentrate on new and used. You can also seg uh, segment these out into different ad groups to be more specific and to help out your optimizations later. Uh, right now, let's concentrate on used and also um, we'll use used and let's do a vehicle brand by Kia. And that's how you get those in there. Um, over here, 15 million impressions is what you're targeted to within all the specific viewable CPM that you're doing, the locations, everything's taken into consideration. So that's what we're looking at right now. And the automated targeting, uh, conservative automation. Um, this one, and to get more customers, like the ones you targeted at your current cost per customer, aggressive automation, uh, and to get it many. Uh, okay, so I'm going to stick with the conservative right now, because that's what I did previously, and it seemed to work out. All right, the ad group bid. Now, the ad group bid for the cost per thousand impression, I actually set this to um, five cents in the beginning. Okay. So I set this to five cents. I created a new advertisement and then um, uploaded display ads, blah, 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 create campaign, and then it just goes. So all you got to do is finish up the campaign. And uh, I'm canceling out of this one right now because I don't really want that thing on my list. Uh, I already got this thing here. So that should give you some of these uh, numbers. And if you don't receive those uh, numbers or if you're at a different market or uh, something else, then basically hit me up on here, um, comment below, and just let me know um, what you guys want to learn. And we'll go through it. Thanks.